starting off with developing a personal brand, one of the resounding tips from the night was the importance of relationships, uh, developing strong relationships, not being in a rush when you're in a new work experience to try and accelerate that process, but doing it properly from the start uh, and making sure that you're building trust and respect with those that you're working with. It goes a long way. So from a personal brand point of view, the uh, number one tip was focus on relationships. From a, a resume building point of view, um, it was quite popular um, advice to have a LinkedIn profile because it's searchable, as in when you um, search for someone's name, usually their LinkedIn profile will pop up pretty quickly on Google, but also it acts as an online resume. Um, so there's some important tips with managing your social media presence. Be mindful on what you're liking um, and commenting on and how you're commenting on those posts because uh, a couple of um, speakers on the night, experts on the night, we're talking about how they do research and monitor how um, people are uh, conducting themselves online. And if they're liking the wrong post, um, perhaps something that might have been a sexist post or, or a racist post, that would look, of course, um, wouldn't help their cause in getting a job or getting an interview. Um, so be mindful of what you're posting on uh, and making sure that you're looking after um, your brand online just as you would face-to-face. Uh, -face. Number three, network strategies. Another one to stay consistent with from day one. Don't rush the process. Um, you don't want to try and build your networks over a really quick time. Focus on building strong uh, connection with fewer people first and, and your networks will no doubt over time grow from there as um, the good word goes out there. Um, but equally, it also works um, both ways, if you've had a run-in with someone that you've worked in the past, uh, the industry is very close and people talked about how that can negatively impact your ability to get jobs elsewhere um, because people talk. So um, try as best you can to build positive relationships with people. It doesn't mean you can't challenge them, but the importance of um, making sure that you're really consistent in how you conduct yourself in the workplace uh, and that you... Uh, are reliable and that you respect the processes in place and where you sit. So networking was number three. Number four, interview techniques. Practice, practice, practice. Even if you think you're not for the role and you've got no chance whatsoever to get it, still um, throw your hat in the ring. It'd be great if you can make the interview process because some of them can be quite uh, intense and surprise you with the questions that you're asked. So for you to get comfortable in that situation, uh, takes practice so making sure even if you feel like you're not qualified um, start practicing putting your resume together um, asking questions on if you don't make the interview why didn't you make the interview stage how can you make your cv look stand out more um, as well as if you do interview why didn't you get the job how can you improve your interview process so interview techniques um, making sure that they're down pat and you're getting practice in early in your degree and, and your career number five online presence make sure it's credible um, don't be posting anything that you think could tarnish your brand uh, and also add value don't just post um, for the sake of posting, but make sure you're really adding value. A safe place that most of the um, practitioners, experts on the night at La Trobe Uni discussed was you're pretty safe if you discuss your experience uh, and just be careful of um, giving your uh, 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 posting a opinion with a uh, protocol if you haven't got research backed in that thing because you can get caught out with people with way more experience and knowledge than you. So just be mindful of what you post from a prescriptive point of view. But if you just keep it safe and, and talk about your experience, anecdotal experience and what you learnt from it uh, and how you're helping the industry, um, that's a pretty safe place.